Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So I've just condensed down on one of my Facebook Live videos where I showed you how to make this art wreath. Now this actually took me, what well, was two hours during the live, but then to paint everything which you see me laying down here, you know, that was a, you know about another hour. So it's a really nice thing to kind of kill an afternoon. And um, the inspiration actually came from the new or the latest, it's not the latest now because there's another one out, but it's the Papercraft Society kit and it was by the Bee Crafty Girls, um, so it's very much a mixed media style kit. So it kind of, you know, pushed me out of my comfort zone a little bit and to create something different to what I usually do. So I, before the live, I coloured, you know, or painted all of these bits and pieces around the house, and um, I'll show you those again in more detail. And then I also grabbed this embroidery hoop, and I just covered that with some white acrylic paint. You can use a gesso. So... What I'm doing right now is I'm just covering the back of the embroidery hoop so I have a bit of a base. Now I'm using two separate sheets of paper. I would recommend that you use one piece, but because I was using the kit, I wanted to use everything in that kit. So I've pulled out the papers in there. So although I've got a join, that's going to be completely hidden. You don't end up seeing any of that. But you can see now I've just kind of created that background. So if you do want to watch the, you know, the detailed, the full length one, then I'll share the link to the the Facebook Live that I done and you can watch that but I am interacting with other crafters so there's more talking um, you know but it, it is fun and if you haven't joined in on any of the Facebook Lives then you can have a look at them through that link as well. So in the kit we had these butterfly stamps there's lots of other stamps as well and we've got these ink pads you can see the three ink cubes there at the top so I'm just using the hot pink I wanted this whole thing to be pink <laughs> I love pink I love orange I love teals and turquoise those kind of colors so I'm just stamping out a few here they stamped really well and they have some beautiful detail in these actually. You get a die to cut them out as well, which I'm just kind of laying down there. And um, I made a little template actually to do that just to make sure that I get a really nice white border around all of those. You also get an embossing paste, which you can just see I'm showing there. I have actually made my own embossing paste as well. There is a recipe for it. If I remember to link it in this video, I will do. So again, if you do want to create something similar, you don't need the kit to make this. And once you see what I've done, and if you do want to check out the embossing paste recipe, then you'll be able to, you know, do your own thing with that as well. I've also just compared the size because it was a really large size tub that we received in the kit. So I just brought in the Nuvo embellishment mousse there just so you got an idea. So I've cut my butterflies, so I'm just giving them a little bit of shape so they're all ready now for me to attach. Um, they're actually the last thing I end up sticking down because I want them to stay white. I didn't want them to have any kind of sprays or anything on them. So now we also received some stencils in the kit. So I'm just picking out, it's quite a damask, very ornate style one here. Again, it's out of my comfort zone. These aren't the kind of stencils I would generally go for, but I think when you start to maybe use them in your style and your colours, then you can really create something nice. So I'm just laying it down in the middle there. And then I was looking at the other large one and I wanted to use the butterfly. And that's when I started talking about my other embossing paste, which you briefly saw there. So I just laid down and originally that was the cube, the pink ink cube just onto my medium mat there, just so I could, you know, do that stencil. And now I'm just laying some more down and then I'm going to mix it with the embossing paste. It was a lot more of a runnier embossing paste. It wasn't one like I'd used before I was just trying to get quite a deep pink color so I was a little bit unsure about it at first but actually it's turned out to become a really really lovely medium I really like it because it ended up resisting against anything that I threw at it so it really did keep its shine and you'll notice that and I don't know how well the pictures will show up at the end but it was just really nice and I made sure that I kept that little bit of that butterfly visible throughout the whole of the you know this kind of process so you do see it right at the very end so I've just kind of it, mixed media is you know a lot of it's about building up your background it's lots of layers um, before you end up sticking down you know your the really the main things you see because a lot of this you don't see you only see a very small amount of the stencil um, I bring in some embellishment mousse in a moment. You only see a little bit of that. So it's just, but it's just building that background. So this is just some mesh that I've got in my drawer. Like I said, I've got a drawer just full of really random things, bits and pieces and bits of fabrics and stuff like that. And it's great for mixed media projects. So here's the embellishment mousse. This is just one of the Nouveau ones, but it's got a lovely shine to it. So it looks a bit of a hot mess at the moment. And during the live, people were kind of, you know, commenting, saying what, what's going on now, what, what's happening. Um, you know, if it's not things you're familiar with, it, it, you do, you get to a point, I think, sometimes where it just does look a bit horrid, dare I say. But you kind of need that process to then, it's, it's building that background, like I say. So a lot of this gets hidden. So now I'm starting to bring in all of those pieces that I've painted. 
and I just raided my craft room just pulling out bits and pieces the paintbrush there was actually one that had had glue on it and I forgot to clean it and it had gone stiff so I just threw it in this bottom drawer and when you paint it and then add it to something like this it, it it's that's why I'm calling it my art reef because it's a really creative it's full of things that I enjoy I've got three wooden um, words there so we've got smile happy and create um, and it made you know it's all of those things that's how it made me feel happy I smiled and I was creating and it's it's an art piece that's going in my creative space so but you know lots of people there's some fantastic mixed media artists on YouTube and they have their blogs on Instagram you know follow them because they make incredible things so I'm just using my hot glue here and I'm just building up a really nice kind of scene so I've got a pencil that I've painted the paintbrush there's some leaves that I painted that are the bottom piece there's a crochet flower that I was given that bow was just in one of my you know my bow kind of jars but once I painted it with the acrylic white and it dried it's really stiff and it became a really nice embellishment and I've got a heart there which was one from one of the Dovecraft kits or you know collections that they have there's a little um, lace butterfly that I've used a peg I'm a little bit off the camera because it was alive so I actually had my phone camera which was you know making sure everything was really in shot so it's always a little bit cut off in this, but I still think it works and you get a good idea of what I've done. And you can, like I said, just check out that link below. So I just brought my box in here and this is when you start to get messy. So I put some gloves on and I'm just using, these are the Cosmic Shimmer. It's the Ink Spray Mist. So it's a beautiful pink, really is lovely. It's a real like bubblegum pink. But if you go, you know, you kind of let it dry in between layers, you can get a much more intense colour. So I'm just kind of using a stencil brush here just to really get in all the gaps there and just make sure it covers and then I start bringing in this fab orange. The orange and the hot pink just looks so good together. And again, it's very much my style, my character, and it suits my craft space. So, you know, it's a great way for you to, you know, um, make something that's going to suit you. There's a little paper clip in there as well. So I just, yeah, just started drying it and really having some fun, letting the kind of ink kind of, you know, fall into all the cracks so it's nice and dark in some parts. Um, I end up actually at the very end, and you'll see it in the photos, is I add glitter to the top of the paintbrush, just to the top where the bristles are and it looked really good so then I'm coming to the end um, because it was getting late so I just brought in some of my rub-ons they're just a gilding wax just to create some highlight but after this I end up going over with some white and you'll see that better in the photos at the end which I'll be sharing but it's just it's a great way to just lift everything the create the smile and the happy I could see they were still a, a tiny little bit lost but they because they were raised they had a little bit of a shadow but the create there you can see it's completely lost on the paintbrush but in the photos I ended up going back in once everything had dried I left it overnight and I came in with some white and it just really lifted all of those words and you can see that now in the photos it just looks really good I finished it off with the butterflies I added glitter I sprinkled glitter all over it as well and I actually used one of my Tim Holtz glitter sprays as well and I just love it it's just a really nice fun thing to do something to get you out of your comfort zone you know you, you've kind of lost your mojo a bit do something really different and just have a bit of fun with it so yeah don't throw away all your bits and bobs just keep them because you never know when you're going to use them so I hope this has inspired you and for those of you that made yours they were fantastic and thank you for sharing them on the Mixed Up Crafters Facebook group and I'll be back very soon with another tutorial take care bye